Hello YouTubers, Nomdeman13 here with part 10 of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 walkthrough, the Gulag. Now, I just got the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 strategy guide, and in this little sidebar here they have, um, like, this stuff that like pretty much tells about the level, and this is what I'm gonna read in the beginning. Um, and maybe like a little bit of the, uh, part of it. Uh, Operative Sergeant Gary Roach Sanderson, Task Force 141. Op 4, Russian Military. Location, Gulag, 40 miles east of Petropov... Petropovlovskik, Russia. Sorry, I didn't pronounce that white, right. Intel 4. Objective, Rescue Prisoner 627. Initial loadout, M14 EBR scoped. M4A1 Grenader with red dot sight. 4 times flash grenade, 4 times frag grenade, 10 times grenade launcher, 10 times claymore, and night vision goggles. Now, this mission picks up not long after the previous one. With the SAM sights off the coast disabled, your squad can now move into the Gulag. Soap believes a prisoner held in this compound may lead the team to Makarov. Your goal is to get in and extract the target in one piece. As the mission begins, you hang out the side of a chopper beside Soap as your team flies toward the Gulag. Friendly fighter jets streak by, destroying enemy emplacements on the cliffs ahead, clearing the way for your helicopters. And so, this level is pretty much just all about Prisoner 627. And this, you're actually teamed up with the, uh, SEAL? I don't know if it's the SEALs or the Marines or something, I'm sorry, I don't really know that. But, um, and you start sniping, you get, you're on the side of the helicopter and you start to snipe these people as you just saw me do. I'm sorry I was reading the thing, I wasn't really watching it, but um, and as you could see there before the jet flew above your helicopter and it caused you to pretty much almost crash. So, there's, there, so you can tell that there's conflict in between these two things. So, um, and right here you just go and just pick these guys off. It's not very hard to like with your M14. Um, this sniper is the last sniper that you get in the game for multiplayer. Um, and speaking of multiplayer, I have uh, recently changed, like I usually just played Team Deathmatch, and um, that guy who camps, uh, he does multiplayer videos with commentary. Uh, he's like, I don't really want to say his age, uh, like 15, 16 or something, probably like 15, um, and he usually plays, uh, free-for-all, and he was, like, talking to, like, our, his viewers, which one of them is me, and he's, like, he's, like, telling me all this stuff about free-for-all, so I'm, like, oh, maybe I should try it out, and then I got this book, and it says, like, there's this whole section on free-for-all, like, for, like, multiplayer game modes, and, like, that's what I start playing now, because that's, like, the type of player I am. Like, I'm more independent, and I don't, and I haven't really been doing too well with, uh, Team Deathmatch. So I started playing that, and I'm, like, doing really well. I'm, like, winning all the games. I mean, my, like, my, st my scores aren't that good. I mean, I usually get, like, ten deaths or something, but, I mean, still, I mean, I'm winning. I'm winning. So, you know, yeah. This strategy guide helps a lot, and like tells you what good weapons to use, and that's what I've been using, and it helps a lot. Um, and this video has to be split into two parts. This one's like seven minutes. The other one's like like six or like something like yeah six. Um, and um, it is a pretty pretty. Mm, I'm not even gonna say if levels are cool or whatever. This level is just, like I said before, it's just all about 627, Prisoner 627, and then there's these little things, little obstacles in the way. Um, like right here, you're trying to get through, but the door's not opening, and Ghost, who reminds me of Gaz a lot, I think it's the same voice actor, I don't know, he sounds a lot like him right, like right here. Uh, uh, get it open, then he's like, working on it, this hardware is ancient! He sounds just like him, I think, so, I, I think you, like, I think it's the same voice actor, just a little thing there, but, uh, and so this is, like, one of the obstacles you have to, like, defend here, and, um, 
So, in one of those rooms, there's actually the intel. Uh, I don't really know where all the intel is, so, you know, go watch, like, uh, Achievement Hunter. They have all the intel locations. Um, so, you go down here into the armory, and there's a crap load of weapons. I mean, uh, right, M M1014, AA-12, all these other guns, M9... M93 roof. I don't even know how you say it, but it's like a mini M16 pistol. It is a really good gun. I use it for multiplayer all the time, and I just own with it. Um, so pick up a riot shield. You actually need one. You don't really need one right now, but they're gonna tell you to pick one up anyway, so you might as well just get grab it. Um, I keep my M uh, M4A1 because of the grenade launcher, um, which will be useful later. But I actually don't use it because I'm I'm just stupid. So. Um, right here, he says, like, there's a lot of guys coming in there, so, and, y and you have to defend the, the door while they all, while he waits to get it open, and so, riot shields are pretty cool, they're a new weapon in the game, um, it's a, just a defensive gun, you can actually bash with it, like, using the same button that you use for knifing, um, as you'll see right, boom, and boom. Um, but it does get kind of useless if you just use it the whole time, and then they keep on shooting at you. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic again. They keep shooting at you, and then the thing gets all filled up with bullet holes and you can't see. So, this part one is coming to a close. So, just watch part two for a big twist. Big, big twist. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys then. I mean... I don't know. So, yeah. I pick up an AK-47 here because the rat shield is useless now.